one, Dr. C. Fleischer, who's joining us from King of Prussia, because you can help us to figure out how to tell pregnant moms out there how they can get some relief during the summer and also when they're trying to sleep. Uh, so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me back on the program. It's great to be here. It's good to see you. And we want to make sure, because you know we're a hands-on group here, that mm -hmm. while you're giving us some of these tips that Mike has agreed so kindly to demonstrate and show how Apparently, you can get it done. <laughs> doctor, we could not find a pregnant woman uh, who wanted to be on the show today. So Kit Kat Klein, our producer, <coughs> suggested this. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I could never do this. I'm uncomfortable with just with this fake belly and he's literally had the fake belly on dr fleischer for about two minutes so this is going to go go well got it uh so for the first thing you know is it just because of the heat and everything that's going on is that why everyone says it's so much harder to be pregnant in the summertime well there's several things that happen when you're pregnant in the summertime but as the physiology changes whether it's the summertime or the winter time um, the muscles tend to get into knots kind of like this so one of the simple things that we recommend people do to help alleviate some of the discomfort during the summer is to do some simple stretches which helps get those knots out very gently which we're going to show you how to do that right now wonderful okay so where do we so start what body part so we've got my chiropractic assistant rose with us she's going to be my model and um, we're going to start with a hamstring stretch so go ahead bend over and what you're going to do is you want to do these stretches one to three times a day you don't want to bounce with these stretches you go as far as you can if you feel pain come off it a little bit and you hold each stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds now that's for the back of the leg the hamstring muscles the next stretch we're going to do is the mid to low back stretch so you're going to grab your knee you're going to lean over at the waist and you're going to raise your back up like a cat stretch and you're going to feel that whole stretch in there you feel that rose that feels pretty good doesn't it Looks okay, like so the next stretch we're going to do, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it feels really good. The next stretch we're going to do is the piriformis stretch, which is a small muscle across the, the buttocks here. And when that gets swollen and inflamed, it can cause pressure to the sciatic nerve and give pain down the back of the leg, numbness, tingling, weakness. So Rose is going to demonstrate that now. So she's going to pull up on her knee and she's going to lean in with her chest. She's not going to curl her body, but she's going to lean forward and stretch this muscle back and through here to take out some of those oh, knots okay. to reduce the sciatic pain. I can't see this. It's probably easier. So for this one, you need to be seated? Correct. Okay. Correct. You need to be seated for this one. The next one we're going to do are the ranges of motion for the neck because in addition to back problems, a lot of pregnant women start to complain of neck problems as their body starts to change in shape as the belly starts to get bigger. So there's six ranges of motion for the neck and same thing. Hold each one of them 20 to 30 seconds and do it one to three times a day. And as you can see, she's demonstrating the last two of the stretches, the, the rotations. So for the next so one, the next just stretch look to the right do... and then look to the left and make sure you just pause in between. Correct. You hold each one for 30 seconds okay. and then you're going to also bring your ear to your shoulder too each way. And then you're going to okay. bend your head forward and bend your head backwards. Those are your six ranges of motion. All right. So the next stretch we're going to do is, for, is, is a hip flexor test, a stretch. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay with one leg hanging off the bed and you're gonna bring the opposite knee in towards the chest, and that's gonna stretch Whoa. the deep hip flexor muscles in through here. It feels really good. It helps to relax a lot of tension on the low back. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is if you have a partner that is willing to assist you during your pregnancy and help with these things, I'm gonna show you a couple things that a partner Alex. can do. So one of them <laughs> is the hamstring stretch here where you lean in, you Thanks, support sir. the knee here and the ankle here, and you don't want to feel the legs shaking and you don't want to see the knee buckle. If you do, you're pulling too far up. Okay. So you want to let, just let that release. <sighs> now, the other thing that my wife had me do for her during her pregnancy was I gave her massages. I rubbed her low back and also rubbed her feet because they would tend to get Alex? swollen during, especially during the summer. They retain water, right? Right. <laughs> so one of the things that we recommend is we recommend these two pieces of produce cucumbers and watermelons they are natural diuretics and my wife shape. lived on them during the summers which i'm sorry <laughs> it's mike being mike continue dr fleischer so so they, they they are natural diuretics they help to get rid of the water it really helped her uh through her pregnancy especially during the summer with the water retention so, so the wait, last so thing i want to show you, you is it's very, uh, what do you i'm sorry you said do you eat them or you're saying you use it to i, I missed it sorry 
Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. No, no, you eat them. Okay. <laughs> you eat them. Well, I didn't know. They, I mean, you could roll diuretic. it up and down the back. I wasn't sure. So, okay. Thank you for clarifying. Well, they I have foam rollers for that. Uh, yeah, that's true. They do. <laughs> they do, which are similar shapes when it comes to cucumbers, a little bigger. Um, but, hey, that's, those are great summer foods to eat, nice and cool. And what was the yes. last thing? Yes. So the last thing we're going to talk about is sleeping postures. I've been told it is incredibly uncomfortable during the late second and third trimesters to sleep on your back or on your stomach. So we've got this pregnancy pillow that we have right here, and Rose is going to demonstrate how to use that. It'll support the neck, it'll support the stomach, and it supports the legs so that there's no stress on the low back when you're sleeping, and it lends for a very comfortable and restful night's sleep, well, as best as you can get during late pregnancy. I need one of those. Wonderful. Yeah, that looks very comfy. Thank you so much, Dr. Fleischer. It Dr. is very Fleischer. comfortable. Um, is there, can you do too many at once so to pace yourself? Or every day? No, you just, want to go, you just want to go through it nice and slowly. There's no rush. Again, just you want to make sure that you're breathing slowly through it, and there really shouldn't be any pain. If you're having any pain during your pregnancy, then you definitely want to get to see a chiropractor uh, to make sure that we can find out what's going on and help you have a very happy pregnancy. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Fleischer, for those tips. I'm sure it'll bring lots of relief to lots of people. I don't know about for Mike Jarek over there, but um, maybe for us.